What up, pirate gang? Arg, fuck you, map gang. And by the way, when I mean maps, I mean minor attractive persons, or you know, a name Twitter came up with to make pedophiles sound nicer. Anyways, in case you didn't know, the most toxic platform is getting cancelled, and maybe might get cancer. As they've been doing real dumb shit recently, but this time it's finally crossed the line by allowing a video of a 13-year-old boy engage in sexual acts and abuse. And since you know, when you tweet, you see ads on Twitter, so that makes money. So that means Twitter made money off of child porn. To get full context, John Doe, a 17-year-old who lives in Florida, was blackmailed when he was around the age of 13 to 14, and this all started after he mistakenly started chatting with sex traffickers on Snapchat and then got blackmailed after he exchanged nudes. He was blackmailed into sending videos of himself, performing sexual acts by himself, and was also told to perform with another child, which he did. Doe would soon block the trafficker, but a few years later, 2019 to be specific, he started to notice that the videos he was blackmailed into making were surfacing on, you know, the most righteous company ever, in huge quotations, Twitter, had the video surfacing back in. Now you ask yourself, did Twitter do anything? Fuck no. Even though the video was flagged like a hundred times apparently by this guy. So next year, 2020, and poor Doe got continuously bullied and almost made him think about suicide and you want to know where he was messaged on the same website that allowed the child porn of himself to be surfaced on so over the weeks doe presumably got better hopefully and his family also tried to help him for trying to get a response out of twitter twitter would finally respond after the video got over 167,000 views and 2,223 retweets a bit late don't you think and uh this is what twitter had to say thanks for reaching out we reviewed the content and didn't find a violation of our policies so no action will be taken at this time so you know just you know twitter just admitting that they saw the child born and thought that was cool. They also said, if you believe there's a potential copyright infringement, please start a new report. If this content is hosted on a third party website, you'll need to contact that website support team to report it. Your safety is the utmost important thing. And if you believe you are in danger, we encourage you to contact your local authorities. So yeah, thanks Twitter very much. You're so helpful. Anyways, Doe would uh, be later contacted by an agent from the Department of Homeland Security and that's what got the video finally taken down on January 30th. Then after the federal agent got it taken down, no surprise, Twitter finally banned the child porn accounts after two years. You know, to save their reputation clearly, because if it was because they thought it was not right, they would have banned it two years ago. It took them two years. Anyways, no surprise, Twitter got finally sued. The suit stating, only after the takedown demand from a federal agent did Twitter suspend the user accounts that were distributing the CSAM and report the CSAM to the National Center on Missing and Exploited Children. The states that sued filed by the National Center on Sexual Exploitation and two law firms. And you know what Twitter had to say? They had the balls to deny it. Then, like a few hours later, after regarding and finally regretting what the fuck they said, they put out the most bullshit robot response ever, even worse than any YouTube apology. Twitter has zero tolerance for any material that features or promotes child sexual exploitation. We aggressively fight online child sexual abuse and have heavily invested in technology and tools to enforce our policy, a Twitter spokesperson wrote. Our dedicated teams work to stay ahead of bad faith actors and to ensure we're doing everything we can to remove content, facilitate investigations, and protect minors from harm, both on and offline. Which, in case you guys didn't know, Twitter used to have a rule saying that you could talk about child sex or being attracted, but no actual child porn. It was later banned, but you see the problem is, they clearly don't care. They'd rather censor some person for points than get rid of child porn for honor. So no big surprise, the hashtag Twitter is over party trains 
train started rolling, which, yeah, Twitter deserves it. From banning people for being annoying, censoring people for having different opinions than what's considered by you to be right, to actually giving code names to pedos like it's fucking Spy Kids, Twitter is the most sincere in being a pool of toxic, righteous people who have no idea what the fuck they're saying. Now, if you use Twitter, that's fine. However, you gotta know that Twitter is allowing child porn as they don't see it as a problem because it gets them money. Which, with Doe, the main character, I say, of the situation, hope he's doing well. But this is not the only case. Twitter has hundreds of people circulating child porn and sexual abuse of children, and it won't stop unless, A, we stop using Twitter altogether, which 4chan will most likely take Twitter's role of being the platform for toxic pedos. Which, sorry, collateral damage, but it's 4chan, so nothing would change. Or B, the most unlikely, we trust people to uphold the law on Twitter, any means necessary, but I doubt that. In summary, Twitter is a cancer on social media, and until Twitter has its laws upheld or a new platform gets bigger than Twitter, we will be stuck with a toxic pedo named Twitter. This has been Radfax. Like this video to help it in the algorithm. Subscribe to the channel to keep it growing. Stay rad, and always, if you see or hear someone say, my opinion is right, yours wrong, even though they are clearly in the wrong, well, you should have the full right to do whatever you want to them. Also, hashtag Twitter is over party. Fuck you, Twitter. Go on a hammer town. Come on.